Hi there, I'm Yvonne DeSellis coming to you on Y Energy. Just wanted to do one more quick exercise, but I also wanted to show you something with a mask. I mean, I'm wearing a mask and I'm doing this for a reason. Um, a lot of times, I know people can't stand wearing these things, but I live somewhere where you're legally required to wear these things. And I agree that breathing is hard in these. I do have a hard time breathing in these, but I found a solution. And I'm just going to move the mask out of the way so I can show you what it is. It's called a face bracket. It was dirt cheap. I got this on Etsy. It was like two bucks for each one of these things. And what you're supposed to do is just stick it over your nose and your mouth. And it's amazing because it creates extra space. Um, I learned a trick for putting on surgical masks where I'm trying to find one so I can show it to you. I don't know. Oh, wait, here it is. Um, I've read with surgical masks, the regular surgical masks, if you take them and you can bring them inside out and you tie these and put the tie as close to the mask as you possibly can, it creates a pocket of air. Sorry, this is in the way for people who are trying to read my lips. It creates a pocket of air in front of your nose and mouth, which in theory is supposed to make breathing easier. However, these could be uncomfortable to wear and it doesn't always make the breathing much easier. Plus, if you tie those ties and you wear a face bracket, it'll make your ears hurt. But if you have regular masks or any kind of mask, permanent masks, masks you can hand wash, whatever, this really helps. I do find breathing difficult, but I find this makes it a lot easier. I got this on Etsy and again, it was like three bucks for each mask. I got a three pack, I think it cost $7.99. So, that's tip number one. Tip number two, just to go along with the videos I'm going to put up this week, is a really quick anti-stressor. I've done this one before. I call it the fingertip grip. I don't know which spot on my phone I'm supposed to be making eye contact with so I can make eye contact with you. I hope I'm looking in the right spot right now, but just a really quick one. Again, I call this the fingertip grip. You want to take your index fingers to your pinky and hold them together flat. Put your thumb underneath put them together and with your other hand grip the tip very very tip because you don't want to gri grip in the center anywhere you could really hurt your fingers because you're using yourself as a stress ball so you're gripping the tips of your fingers this is a really good bad behavior replacement and when I say bad behavior I mean what do you do when you get really stressed and really freaked out what bad habit do you have that you turn to do you bite nails do you pick your cuticles do you smoke do you drink if you have a bad behavior that you want to replace, trying to replace it with the finger trip, finger tips, sorry, finger tip grip, kind of hard to say that one. Um, that can be a good replacement behavior. You can also give yourself affirmations. This is something that I learned from an EFT specialist. I don't remember his name, but if I find it, I will, once I've gotten all the videos ready and everything, and I do the descriptions, I'll put a link in. You'll know it's ready because you'll see a table of contents, but I will put a link into his video when I find it. It's kind of like a non-tapping EFT exercise. And when I say EFT, I'm referring to what I learned from Nick Ortner, who has a school called The Tapping Solution. EFT for them stands for Emotional Freedom Technique, and this is a non-tapping EFT technique. And you can give yourself affirmations. So by that, I mean, while you're doing this, you can say, I know things are really, really stressful right now. I'm going to do some regular tapping too, but I know things are stressful, but I know that they're going to get better. I know things are going to turn around, and I'm not going to let things get to me. Top of the head. These are just other different tapping points that I've learned about. These are all good acupressure points. They're on meridians. Again, side of the eyebrows. You can do both at the same time. You can do just one. You can do the skin between your nose and your mouth. You can also do your chin. This can also be a good anti-stressor. Very, very good for getting over stress. Especially if you're really angry, you might find you're tapping yourself a little bit harder than you want. Um, but just tap as hard as what feels natural. This is a karate chop, by the way. When you tap the side of the hand, you can also tap under the arm. And again, the fingertip grip for people who do not like tapping. And you can just give yourself affirmations while you're doing that. Sorry to cut this video really short, but I really wanted to make one last quick video for the week. So anyway, as always, thank you so, so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Peace and light. Namaste. And oh, one last thing. If this was helpful, please let a friend know if you think it might help them. Pass it on. I'm just trying to get my video channel off the ground. So anyway, thank you once again. I really do appreciate you spending your time here with me. Namaste. Peace and light. Cheers.